I am so happy to be here. I have never been to a reunion, ever. We've been, we were in the Air Force, had the career, and been in D.C. area. I've been practicing for 30 years. And you look great. Thank you. You all look so good. And I, and I, you know, I, I actually had never over my yearbook for how many decades, so I pulled it out, and uh, uh, we left D.C. Early, early this morning, so I was sitting on the airplane going through two years. Does this matter? Um, how big your home is? It doesn't matter. A lot of those worldly things don't matter. It's the people in your life that matter. It's those relationships that are so, so important. And they would, those relationships that make us happy. So I'm grateful to have graduated. I feel honored to be part of this, uh, this esteemed group. And I can say you that as I looked at all those activities and everything that we did, we were amazing. It was an amazing class uh, at Box Elder High School. I've been back to the high school and I didn't wander the halls. I just kind of look around. It was just a wonderful experience for me to do that. So I honor you. Thank you, uh, Steve and Jana and, and Brenda, for um, for organizing this. This has been wonderful. I think this has uh, been a great experience for us. Um, and uh, again, um, congratulations, graduates of Box Elder High School, for having not just graduated but 50 years later. You are here. Um, I actually like gray hair now. People think you're wise because you have gray hair. They treat you differently, or else if you're bald as well. I mean, however they do, they think that you know something. I think that's pretty awesome. You can walk around and be treated like you're, like, you know, you've experienced things. Although I don't appreciate the boomer jokes. And, and, and as I'm going through, you know, talking with a lot of Gen Z and millennials now, it's sort of like I have to defend myself for being a boomer. But it's nice to come to a social situation where I don't have to defend myself for being a boomer. <laughs> anyway, love you guys. Thank you so much for coming to my school. Thank you. Anyway, I can't imagine what he's done now. And so he um, he goes, yeah, I have a daughter. She's a missionary there. And I said, no, they didn't, they didn't meet a church. I can guarantee that. And, um, and so he goes, yeah. They put spotlights in her house, and they scared her to death and called the police there. And I don't know what happened. <laughs> anyway, so anyway, so John and I went contact that way. It was quite exciting. Um, but anyway, we... There's a lot of memories when I look through everybody in this room, um, some of which I've been able to keep good contact with. Um, others I've lost contact with, and it's very sad, actually. As I, as I saw you walk in the room, I think, yeah, I know I've scared myself looking in the mirror. So I, you know, I, I was scared to tell them to recognize people because I know we all change very much. And it's just kind of thank you. Steve and I have had many, many long conversations over the last year, and it's been great. It's been great to catch up. Now, this why we want to share with everyone, because other people have memories, and I think that it's fun. We've had some fun years. We think back at the years we went like to stay, basketball, and whatever. I think we were still, uh, juniors, I think, that year. Um, and various things like that. We've had some really fun experiences. I would like somebody else to come up here now to share memories. And Joe, you keep looking at me, and so I'm just telling him to look back at you, Joe. Would you like to come up and share something with us? Joe, Joe. There we go, Joe. Don't be bad. I'll even take it to you, Joe. Thank you.
And, but the main thing I always noticed whenever I came back to Utah, you know, how nice the people were. I mean, it's just nice people. And that's what I've seen tonight, too. It's just a bunch of nice, beautiful people. And, and I'm proud to be associated with all of you. This is a voluntary action. <laughs> I, I wore this white shirt in uh, memory of the white shirt that we used to give you all to put on when we called you into student council to see if your hair touched the collar. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we, we had a lot of fun doing that. Um, I want to see the hands of those who were with us on that fateful night that um, Mike Hendricks climbed on top of the school found a window back in the home ec area that was covered with ply plywood, broke the plywood, bent the, the, uh, um, the grates that came down to block the hallway, bent one of them, pulling it up so hard, hard enough that they could get through it, got into the gym, and let us all into the gym a couple of nights before the junior prom when we were seniors. Who was there that night? I don't know. <laughs> While we were waiting outside, for those of you who weren't there, there was a rat running along the edge of the high school, which we killed. And uh, Brent Farnsworth and I kept the boots on the top, me for him, lifted, lifted each other up and hung that rat on the chandelier in the middle of the gym, just as proof that we were there and we got into the junior room. So, <laughs> Look in the yearbook because there's a picture of that right in the yearbook. And he had a nice little bottle of blood dripping from his nose on the top of the uh, So we're proud of that. I, you all know that I tried really hard to be a good boy, and the next day when Principal Prickles called us in uh, to his office, uh, I, I was a little embarrassed. But we owned up, but, but always. Uh, We'll be proud of that moment. <laughs> um, I just want to take a, a, a minute to thank everybody. I, I love coming to these reunions. I love seeing you. I love being part of you. I have great memories um, of, uh, of many of you and the times that we spent together. See Jerk around here, you know, we spent many nights together at the big C. And uh, Harvey, Higgs. Harvey Higgs was the guy who, you know, was the ticket taker to get into the big C drive and we went out there late after the show had long since started and he'd gone home and there was a, uh, a metal uh, spikes that come up so you can't drive in uh, to, you know without um, without ruining your tires and it didn't stop Jeff he, he jumped out ran along the fence and a minute later he was coming pulling this plank that he had found along the fence and the plank over the top all the spikes and then we went to the big C, so there was nothing stopping, stopping you. Uh, anyway, thanks again. I appreciate and I love all of you. I'm very grateful for my members uh, of this class. Thank you.
teacher said, uh, you know, I can't condone what you did, but your English was very well written. <laughs> I never ate uh, school lunch again because every time I'd walk through the line, those cooks would just say, okay, here he comes. <laughs> but uh, it really was a wonderful time there at uh, Box Elder High School. And uh, five years ago at uh, our uh, reunion, we went down and took a look at the new uh, high school, the building, the remodel that they had done down there. And it truly is amazing. Um, and for those of you who weren't there, you know, you'll have to take the opportunity to go down and see what the new school looks like. Um, but it's the memories of all of our classmates and all of the fun, exciting activities that we had there at uh, high school growing up. Uh, and those are remembered a lot. And uh, you're amazing people. And certainly have made my life much better for having been a part of that with you and uh, continuing to be a part of that with you uh, each and every time we get together and, and uh, share those memories. Okay.
Does anybody know? Everybody was, but there was a number they printed. We had over 400 ski club members when we were seniors. And I'm still skiing today. here that I was in grade school with all the way through high school and we still stay in touch, Brad Lane and a bunch and that's the memories, you know, clear from grade school is what, you know, makes it and uh, I appreciate being here and being associated with everybody. Next. <laughs> and in my first slide of that book, or that paper we had, right? I put in what I thought was the confines of one's own soul. Unfortunately, I misspelled it. And it was the concubines. <laughs>
better go back there or I'm going to tell you. Looks at Dennis Grover, whose dad was the teacher. He says, you go back, I won't tell your dad. So we went back. He walked us. He jumped in the car with us. We went back. He walked us up to the awards assembly. We walked in one door, walked out another door, took off. <laughs> oh, it didn't work for him to do that. Later that day, during history class, he's
I saw a Marlon Miller ski movie at Weber State College in, in 1970. And unknown to me, inside the same theater was my future brother-in-law. And he got interested in hang glider. That was the first time I'd ever seen a hang glider in that particular Warren Miller ski movie, Jeff Jovi from Seattle. Well, I ended up getting into that sport and meeting my wife's brother-in-law. Had to stop one mission two years later, came back a month later, I meet my wife because of skiing, because of a ski movie, because of Warren Miller. And that led to careers and everything that has come good in my life has come because of skiing. Is that crazy or what? <laughs> One silly little story. I see Debbie Brown over there. She's the only miner that I ever took across state lines. <laughs> Whether she remembers or not. Yeah. You do remember. Okay, my dad, some of you know my dad is your school as a principal, but we like to fly his airplane, and so I ended up us Debbie on a date, and we flew to Jackson with my dad, so that's fun. Anyway, great memories. Excellent. Before we sit down, how many can say that you have jumped off of Wilbur's feet? On the 4th of July, and actually land in the square. And safely. <laughs> yeah. Those were fun years. I only flew for three years, but it was long enough to meet my wife and get my life started on the right track.